Alright, so lesson 111 is applications using division. So here we show three ways to write a division answer. We can leave it as a remainder, we can write it in a fraction form, or we can write it as a decimal form. Now depending on what question is ans you're answering, you may write it in any of these methods, or you may round the answer up or down. So here we have 100 students are to be assigned to three classrooms. How many students should be in each class so that the numbers are as balanced as possible? So I have 100 students and I'm dividing them up into three classrooms. So I'm going to divide first. 3 goes into 10 three times, that's 9. Subtract it, 1 left over, bring down my 0. 3 goes into 10 three times, that's 9. Subtract it, I have 1 left over. Now I could write this as 33.333 or I could write it as 33 and 1 third but I can't have a fraction or a decimal of a student. I can't have a smaller portion of a student. So in this case, I'm going to write it as remainder 1, because I have one student left over. So I'm going to draw out my three classrooms, 1, 2, and 3. Well, I know that I can put 33 in each class, but I still have that one student left over, and he needs to go to a classroom too. So I'm going to put that one student into one of my classes. So instead of having 33 in classroom 1, I will have 34 in classroom 1. And this is your answer, all of these three numbers, to show that this is as balanced as possible. Okay. Here we have matinee movie tickets cost $8. Jim has $30. How many tickets can he buy? So first I'm going to divide. So I have $30. Okay. And it's $8 per ticket. So my dollar amounts would cancel, the dollars would cancel, so I end up with my label going, is going to be ticket. Now I'm going to cancel the 30 and the 8. So I can turn the 8 into a 4, and the 30 becomes a 15. 15 fourths is the same as 3 and 3 fourths tickets. Now in this case, I cannot buy a quarter of a ticket. Okay, I can't buy three quarters of a ticket. So what I'm going to do is, and I can't buy four tickets, I can't round it up because I don't have enough money for four tickets. So I'm going to round this answer down to three tickets because I can't buy more tickets than I have money for. Okay. In this problem we have 15 children need a ride to the fair. Each car can transport four children. How many cars are needed to transport the 15 children? So we have 15 children, and I can put four children per car. Okay. So again, the, ch the children label cancels, so I end up with car for my final label. And I know that 15 fourths is the same as three and three fourths cars. Okay. Now, I cannot have three quarters of a car, but in this case, I don't want to round down like I did before because then that would mean that some of the kids won't go to the fair and all the kids want to go to the fair. So I'm going to round my answer up to four cars so that way all the children can go. Okay. All right, in this one, we have Dale cut a 10 foot board into four equal lengths. How long was each of the four boards? So I have 10 feet, and I'm cutting it into four pieces. So I'm going to do, we're going to reduce. Four becomes a two, 10 becomes a five. So five halves is the same as two and one half feet. Now I can leave this as it is. I could also say 2.5 feet if I wished, because I can cut a piece of board into pieces smaller than a foot. We have inches that we can cut it into. Okay. All right, the last one has to deal with decimals. So Kimberly is on the school swim team. At practice, she swam the five meter freestyle three times. Her times were 37.53 seconds, 36.90 seconds, and 36.63 seconds. What was the mean of her three times? So remember, mean is average. So I'm going to first add up these three amounts, 37.53, 
and 36.63. 3 plus 3 is 6, 5 plus 9 is 14, plus 6 is 20, carry my 2, 6 plus 6 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 7 is 21, carry my 2, 3 plus 3 plus 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. So the total amount of time was 111.06 seconds. Now when I'm finding the mean, I'm going to divide my time by 3 because there were 3 times. Okay. Alright, so 3 goes into 11 3 times. That's 9. Subtract it. 11 minus 9 is 2. Bring down the 1. 3 goes into 21 7 times. That's 21. We get a 0. We bring down zero. Don't forget the decimal point. Decimal point goes straight up. Three goes into zero, zero times. Bring down the six. Three goes into six, two times. So the average of her full of her three times is 37.02 seconds. And we're going to leave it at this because you can't have less than one second. They're called tenths and hundredths of a second. Okay. And that's all. Good luck on your homework.